Now you could do anything you want, right? right? You have this name that's known around the world. You could do anything you want. You created the Cherie Blair Foundation and you're really focusing on empowering women around the world. Why is that cause so important to you? Well, I particularly wanted to focus on women's economic empowerment because of my own life experiences. When I, when I think of my own mother who was left with two small daughters to bring up when my father left her, um, and I think of, of the struggle she had, one of the, the problems she had was simply you know, to have enough money to be able to make the right choices for, for us. And I think so many women uh, are unable to make the right choices for themselves and their families because they don't have financial independence. And therefore, for me, to be able to promote women's financial independence, to help them be able to have the power to say, yes, I want to do this, and no, I won't do that, is really important. Now, I know you have your foundation, along with the Exxon Mobile Foundation, partnered up and really looked at the power of mobile phones and mobile technology when it comes to empowering entrepreneurs in the developing world. First, I think, I don't know if everyone gets, how do cell phones empower women? How, how do they? Well, let, let me start with my own story, if you like. My own story was when my husband became prime minister and I went into 10 Downing Street, um, there I was wanting to continue with my legal career. And, you know, how do I do that? and at the same time support my husband as is expected. Um, one of the ways I could do that was because of technology. And so when I came out of the 10 Downing Street, I thought if technology had helped me um, to live the life I wanted to leave, you know, surely it could help less fortunate women too, particularly around the world. So my first thought was you know, the power of the internet. And then of course I realized, and thinking about my travels around the world, I thought actually the biggest piece of technology that is accessible to everybody in the world is actually the mobile phone. And it, it is an extraordinary thing, the way it's penetrated, not just countries like America and the UK, where you know people are in the developed world, but how you go anywhere in the developing world and you see in remote villages, in, in crowded uh, tenements, in, in, in slum areas, men and women with a mobile phone. Uh, and that, in a sense, is their window onto, onto the world. Now, you, some people might say, oh, you know, women and phones, it's just about chat. But actually, of course, the mobile phone is much more than just about chat. And in many countries in, in the world, it's used for uh, extraordinary things. Uh, one of my favorite stories when I was at CNN with then-President Clinton in Bangladesh and there was a woman, you talk about it, she had a cell phone. She had yes. no running water or electricity, but she had a cell phone, and she was using that cell phone and renting it to other people in her village. And that was her business, and that was allowing her maybe to get a cow or maybe to you know, get more supplies for her family. So it became an engine to provide for her loved ones. And that absolutely, what you saw there, um, is actually developed because now because more and more people are getting their own mobile phones those very women who used to be renting out their mobile phone what they're now doing in is projects where they're renting out mobile phone time so just uh, i mean you and i probably have a contract for our mobile phone but actually in in the developing world pay as you go right. models are the ones and you know you can pay for the tiniest little amounts and one of the things that my foundation is doing with our partners and, and people like the Green Foundation that mm -hmm. you saw are doing is helping women set up small businesses selling mobile phone time. And the great beauty of those sort of businesses is that you can actually combine it with um, the working hours that suit you. You can do it from your own home. You can still manage to look after your children. And I recently went to, to Indonesia to a, to a program that... that, that uh, I saw there, just outside Jakarta, I visited a woman who was selling these mobile phone uh, time, uh, SIM card time things that they could do. And she also had a business, she had a small, just general shop. Um, but the SIM card selling that she was doing was basically doubling her income in the shop uh, and enabling her to run this shop out of home and make money to help support her family.